are currently going down to get these 10k from Stronghold of Security because I set up my two-factor just now. And we're gonna get this money so that we can do Daddy's home. Now, I... Do I have to... Please, please... Okay, I have to run through the doors again. I remember. I remember the path. Okay, we're running low on run energy already. Four damage, four damage, four damage, four damage. All right, we did Stronghold of Security. We got our 10k. We would technically not even have to do this, this floor, because we were actually only looking for 3,500 GP in order to complete Daddy's home. So we're going to make our way over to the sawmill now and buy bolts of cloth. All right, I have to look up Daddy's home. We need five bolts of cloth. So um, no matter how many are in here or how little, these are always 650 coins. So just come here, buy five, boom, 3,250 GP. We also need at least 14 nails. But are they expensive? No, not really. What? Let's just buy 50. Let's slap it down. Oh, there was only 37 in there. Okay. Um, you need a hammer and a saw. So how was I supposed to get a hammer at this point? And I need 10 planks. Oh, I forgot. On the way here, I was also supposed to chop 10 logs. So after Stronghold of Security, chop 10 regular logs. All right. So on my way through Varrock, I'm going to buy a hammer. I'm going to chop 10 logs on the way. Then I'm going to buy cloth, saw, nails. If you go to his house first, you only have to go to the sawmill once. Oh, so that means buy hammer, chop 10 logs, maybe these logs along the way. All right, so on the way here, we've chopped some logs, not necessarily 10, but we, but we talked to Mario and apparently he gives us some logs. Okay, so he has not handed me any special logs or anything. You get the logs from the old guy. Okay, okay. So he gives me logs, huh? Water repellent wax wood. Okay, so there they are. My plan right now is to see the number of logs that I chopped, which is currently seven. These seven right here. And I'm gonna chop five times as many, but drop the remaining. Okay, so we're gonna buy plank. Oh, oh, the wax wood is free. Make plank. Uh, space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's grab one more just in case. Taking a long time there, buddy. <laughs> All right, we've got 10 planks plus the waxwood ones. Okay, so build, 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 build. Wow, how much did that just give? So this isn't just about the reward experience. Man, starting the game these days, heading over here, just on a regular Iron Man, heading to Varrock, you get level six construction immediately and a free house. But now we're about to get some quest reward, right? Uh, did I finish the quest? No, I didn't. Okay, so you get 944 times five. Open Marlo's crate. <gasps> Look at all the stuff we get. What? You get teleport tabs? This this quest is completely broken. Holy cow. Get the 10k, head into Varrock, buy a hammer, chop eight logs on the way. Start the quest. Pick up two log spawns. Go to sawmill, buy the cloth saw and nails, convert the logs, complete quest. What now? Do I just go across the street and do the Varrock Museum quiz? Varrock Museum would be super efficient at this point. All right, I agree actually. So complete museum. And there's plenty of people all around here all hanging out too. It's a great time. All right, so let's remember how to do this. Do I have to run down to every single one of these or is it just like the north one or something? You have to go to all of them. You have to click all of them? Oh, I forgot. I'm not supposed to push the button. I'm supposed to study the plaques, aren't I? Would the museum experience be boosted as well? Yes, this is going to result in level 20 hunter and 20 slayer. All right, so boom, there it is. We have level 20 hunter and slayer. Now we're standing outside of the museum. We could buy some range and mage gear here in Varrock. I'm sitting here with over 5k GP. What do you guys think about this? Running in here, grabbing, 
grabbing some bronze arrows. How about like 50 bronze arrows and then like 150 iron arrows? The bows may be sold out. I'm not worried about the bows because I think it'll be easy to make the bows that you need quickly. But you can buy arrows, so I'll buy like some, some bronze and irons. No easy flax until Kandarin? Ah, that's a good point. Oh, you need, you need flax. Beekeeper random for flax? That'd be so cool. I would do the beekeeper. It'd be like the first time I did the beekeeper. <laughs> Uh, in old school. I definitely did the beekeeper back in RS2. Okay, so then the next thing on this list says do daddy's home, basically. It says for free house and 13 construction, but I think it's actually 20 construction. Go to the Enchanted Valley for the rune axe and nature runes. All right, so I'm definitely going to have to buy bronze arrows and, and like safe spot equipment if we're going to do Enchanted Valley at this point. On the way back, visit the Charter Ship Trader and buy 12 Soda Ash and 12 Sand Buckets. Go to Shy- Okay, so let's do a run of this, actually. Train Construction. Home Tellies. Buy 12 Soda Ash Sand Buckets. So if we bank everything and we set ourselves up, we will need a hammer and saw. We need 23 planks. We'll need the nails. I'll just grab the mithril nails like right out right away. You can use myth nails for regular planks, I hope. And grab the teleports. So we do have another inventory slot. Do we use that for anything? Bring the coins? Oh yeah, bring coins, of course. You do have to bring the coins. Okay, so sell myth. So how much are these do these myths go for? You know, they go for seven each, which maximum could net us another 350 GP. I think I'm okay with just using them. 300 GP? Eh, right? So at this point, by the way, I have teleported back to Lumbridge and I've done my best to get a rune ax. And I can't exactly replicate that easily. But then I'm going to take this inventory and teleport outside of my house. But that's gonna be in Karumja. And that's not where I'm about to go here in the main game. All right, so um, the only thing that this affects is running back and going to the charter ship. So let's just pretend to do it. We'll teleport outside and we're going to single click to get in in building mode because of my rune light plugin. You need level 40 to get up there? Oh. Um, and we're all the way up to level 20 construction at this point. So what are we able to make? Probably doesn't matter because we're just utilizing regular logs. We can make the best chairs. I think we're gonna be making bookcases. Because it's four planks. If you build statues, stashes, they give more experience per plank. That's a great thing to say. I've never made a stash before. I can just leave that last one up and then come over to this chair and build the one that takes three planks. All right, we're at 1606 times five. We have 8K experience. Uh, that gives us level 25 construction right there. So now we're sitting here all pretty. We've, we've gotten level 25 construction that we're sitting on. We click out of this portal, we appear in Brimhaven. So now we're gonna go pre pretend to appear in Brimhaven. Early plan's gonna be very interesting. I know, that's the part that I like, that I'm most nervous about. So I'm glad that we're like looking at it. I don't know if I've ever even like exited from this from this entrance. So we need to watch out for the level 22 skeletons, the level 27 bats, the level 14 scorpions that will attack. I'm going the wrong way. Getting back to the mainland will be awkward. Presumably will be a league interface, but we don't know where that takes us. Yeah, we don't. So we will appear here, but we'll have less music tracks unlocked. Unless we just like appear with a bunch of music tracks unlocked. I'm assuming we don't. All right, so we're gonna click on the house portal. We have 25 construction. We have 20 slayer and hunter, 10 agility, three herb lore. We have 10-ish wood cutting, probably more like eight since I'll pick up those spawns instead. And here we are, boom. We run north to the chargers. Uh, we need to buy 12 soda ash and 12 buckets of sand. Okay, so this guide actually suggests going to Shiloh Village at this point. 
So then it says run straight south to the cart here. Bank, turn around, come back, get a second inventory immediately. Buy 12 soda ash, travel cart, buy 12 soda ash, sand bucket, travel cart, blow glass. So one thing on this list is to do wood cutting and fletching to get up to willow logs to make back the 10K that you need to make the workshop. So that's kind of intense. So after I try to get the rune axe, I'm, I'm going to have a line there that says get GP. And that get GP line might be wood cutting and fletching. It might be, I might just try thieving right there. So we can buy a steel axe here. It costs 200 GP and that'll help us on our way up to getting level 41. And then we'll be able to use our rune axe from there on out. And that'll be good. Get two rune axes and sell one. Now that is a cool thought. What is the low elk value of a rune axe? 5k! Okay, how many logs do we need to do to get level 5? 16 logs, I think, for level 5 fletching. That's great. We're going to be able to do bows within one inventory of logs. That's like an hour of pickpocketing at low level. But you'll, be, you'll become a higher level pretty quickly doing it. I would be concerned about making money with normal trees. Uh, the plan is to get up to willow trees, actually, and try to make money with the willow logs. Yeah, 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 trees will be a little competitive, but look, look at this forest. There were so many less trees on Zaya day one, but I still managed to get 50 fire making, you know? R1 can make people good money from volcanic ash. R2 is fletching, probably, and R3 has a lot of options. R2 does seem to be fletching, because fletching is going to go a lot more... A lot quicker, like we're going to be able to process all these logs immediately. I'm so excited to do that. That's going to be so fun. And I am so excited to show you boys We Monopoly now. Mixel created a game in Tabletop Simulator. And it's going to do a great job in teaching you all about the We Skill Now culture that we've developed over here when it was just me and a few boys, you know? But now there's more people here.